Hello, my name is Samuel Linares and I'm candidate number 0202039. Here is my screencast for my ITGS project. To start off, I want to say that I created a password protected database. Whenever you're trying to open it, this screen pops up asking for the password. The reason for this is that my client requested a re way that no one without the password would be able to access it. Therefore, if a wrong password is input, the screen pops up, not a valid password. However, if the right password is input, the database is shown. Let's start off with the menu. To create the menu, I didn't actually use a switchboard. I used a navigation menu, which let me put buttons on the top side, so she didn't really need to go to the home every time she wanted to open a new form, query, or report. At the top, we can see the buttons, each with their respective category, the forms, queries, and the reports. I tried to use a consistency of buttons because of my client's request in the interview. She wanted a user easy interface that allowed her to work in a fast and efficient way, but at the same time, it wouldn't be difficult to use. Therefore, I tried to use the buttons at the same place so she wouldn't get lost. Now, the validation for the for the fields, as we can see in the inf business information, are the following. As the code for the business is a primary key, it is indexed. Same goes with the code of the client, it's a foreign key, so it's indexed and it's also a required. same goes for the name of the business but when it comes to the actual address or the telephone number some of the sample data that my client provided didn't really have any of those two therefore I omitted the they don't actually require it when you're trying to input so if we try to add a new business to add a new business we go to last entry we go to next entry try to add a client If I if I actually try to add it without the code of the client, it won't let me. You can't go to the specific record. But when I put a client, I let's say test two, it will let me because those two are not actually required. Now let me show you the queries in action. Let's say I want to look for the business I just entered. The name is test2. When you try to search for a business, the screen will pop up. Please introduce the name of the business. The name is test2. All the information is displayed. So you, we can be sure I can add something more. look for it and again, again and we can see that all of the information is actually displayed so the query worked now let's see if I want to the design for the queries I made was pretty simple for the lookup for a business and a client I simply added a parameter with the so the screen popped up using the square break bracket and inputting the text that I want to display. Now, when it when it comes to the dates from let's say last month, we can see the tables here, their respective relationships, and over here, the parameter. I used a complex query between this, the pra the first square brackets, if the first date that my client or the user uses and the last date. This will provide the a search between those two dates. And now for the reports I can say that they actually work. They display every single piece of information that my client requested. The name, name of the business, telephone number, etc and to check we can see that the last one the one I just input is actually displayed
So that's it. Thank you.